Hypothetically, if an asteroid did hit, most of the Earth is water. What sort of impact would it really have? So this asteroid, we think it's maybe 50 meters across. So that's, that could take out a small town. Okay. And in a big city, it would destroy a central part of the city. Mm -hmm. There'd be many injuries in the perimeter. If it hits the ground, it would leave a crater nearly a mile across. Wow. So this is serious damage. But most of Earth is water. And most of what is not water is uninhabited. So unlike in Armageddon, where bits and pieces of that asteroid, they seem to have GPS aim, that one of them decapitated the Chrysler building. Right. It was like, <laughs> you know, how much of Earth's surface is occupied by the Chrysler building? Right. Or, right. or even by Manhattan. If you go to a globe, you can barely find Manhattan. Yet all those asteroids were hitting Seem our important the monuments. Cities, yeah. yeah. So w what about... Holly, that's Hollywood for you. Yeah. The, the DART um, <laughs> system that was used recently to move an asteroid off of its trajectory. How yeah. does that work? Yeah, so this was the double asteroid redirect test. Mm -hmm. A mission flown by NASA to there was a, an asteroid uh, pair that orbited each other, which means you had very good data on if you were successfully to nudge it, can you then measure how much it nudged? It was successful. It got nudged. It was like yes, put tick in that box so that we know how to nudge an asteroid. Now, if there's one with our name on it that could put our lives at risk, we'd like to know that we're in a position to do something about it. 